a number of different people mentioned uh, Baby Reindeer, which is uh, one of yours. I think it's had 54 million views worldwide or something like that. So huge, huge success. But it was a difficult watch, wasn't it? And I just wonder what your duty of care rules are in um, series like that or productions like that. Were you concerned about the characters being identified and the effect that it would have on the characters concerned? Um, it, I mean, Baby Reindeer is an extraordinary story, and it is obviously a true story of the horrific um, abuse that um, the writer and protagonist Richard Gadd suffered um, at the hands of a convicted stalker. We did take every reasonable precaution in um, disguising the real life identities of the of, of, of the people um, you know involved in that um, in that story in the in the making of the show. But she's been identified, hasn't whilst she? also striking a balance with the veracity and authenticity of Richard's story, because we didn't want to anonymise that or make it generic to the point where it was no longer his story, because that would you know that that would undermine the you know the in, the intent behind the show. Um, and we did also work very closely with the Susie Lamplew Trust, who runs Britain's National Stalking Helpline, and also We Are Survivors, in promoting and launching the show. And they've said a lot subsequently about what the series has done to drive the conversation around this um, often quite um, taboo topic, particularly for male victims of stalking, um, and the amount of um, interest and inquiries it, it, it's driven to their organisations. It was. It was, a, it was a fascinating story and very disturbing but I, I understand that the woman concerned, the, the Martha in real life, has now been identified. So presumably this will have quite a significant impact on, on her life. She's a, a Scottish, I think, and works um, in the legal profession and is now contemplating legal action, I understand, because of the effect it's had on her life. And I just wondered what your thought process was about her and the effect that this would have on, on her. Because obviously somebody who's... Um, impacted by quite serious mental health problems. Richard Gadd was very clear that that was not the intent of the show, that it should inspire people to try and track down the, the sort of real life individuals. Ultimately, it's obviously very difficult to control what viewers do, particularly in a world where everything is amplified by social media. But fundamentally, this was about Richard's story and telling Richard's story in a truthful way. Um, I personally wouldn't be comfortable with a world in which we decided it was better that Richard was silenced and not allowed to tell his story. So obviously, you know, we are we are following the situation very closely. Did you offer any um, contact or, or support for the, the Martha character in real life? I cannot get into the specifics of what happened around the making of the show because it wouldn't be appropriate for me to comment and, you know, I don't want to give further um, fuel to some of the some of the theories which are circling um, on the internet. Thank you very much, John. Um, when you, I know you all have to go, and I, I'm so grateful for the amount of time you've given us this uh, today. Um, when you.